My lord, you're here. Thank goodness. Um, yeah, I know what has happened here. Uh, did the Dark Swan get into the castle? Some did, oh, yes, bad. but we were able to close the gates and kill the ones in the courtyard. I was told to watch for your arrival, Warden. Your comrade Riordan arrived just ahead of the Darkspawn attack. He has urgent news for you. Um, okay, take me inside, Jim. Uh, must be no more delays. I should take you to the hall right away, my lord. They'll be waiting for you there. Excellent. Let's see what Riordan has to say. It was Riordan, right? Or oh, am I wrong? <laughs> I'm terrible with names. Dum, 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 dum. It's a relief to see you unharmed. And you as well, Alistair. Or should I say your majesty? <laughs> uh, no, no, I wouldn't say that. Not yet, anyway. The darkspawn that attacked Threadcliffe were relatively few in number, I'm afraid. It was assumed the Horde was marching in this direction, but that is not true. Riordan tells us that the bulk of the Horde is in fact heading towards Denerim. They are perhaps two days away from Ew. the capital. What? Are we sure about that? I mean, if that's true... I ventured close enough to listen in, as it were. I am quite certain. Uh, okay. That's that's not good. Then we should march there at once with our army and stuff. There is, I'm afraid, one other piece of news that is of even greater concern. Oh? The Archdemon has shown itself. The dragon is at the head of the Horde. Make her preserve us. I see. But we can't reach Denerim within two days, can we? It's too far. We must begin a forced march to the capital immediately with what we have. Denerim must be defended at all costs. Agreed. Uh, indeed, we have, we have collected this army. Let's use it. The Horde must be defeated. But the Archdemon is our true target. And only the Grey Wardens can defeat the Archdemon. That is why we must go. Then we march, and hope the army we've collected here gives us the chance we need. Al Eamon, how long before the army can set out? By daybreak. Then let's get them ready. I won't let all those people die without giving them a chance. All right. Uh, I'd like some more technical details Details in uh, how it was supposed to defeat this arch demon, you know? We have defeated Dragon once, but he was low, not with an entire army of dark spawn around him. I was wondering that myself. Then you don't know. Of course not. You're both new recruits. Duncan wouldn't have expected. I will give the orders at once, and will notify you the moment we are ready to march. That would be appreciated. Perhaps you and Alistair should meet me before you retire for the evening. There are things. We need to speak of. Oh? I will have someone show you to your rooms. I suggest you all get some rest while you can. We will need it. All right. Uh, hi, dwarves. How are you doing? And what word have we from Orzammar? Has House Claret sent their men or haven't they? They're stalling, which is as good as it is. Ah, damn it. House Clorette's feud with House Romald has flared up again since their son died in that Deep Roads business. So naturally they are pleading the need for self-defense. <laughs> Find time to start with that nonsense again. I've half a mind to... <sighs> Evening to you, Grey Warden. I didn't realize you were still up and about. Is there a problem with the Dwarven forces? Nothing that can be dealt with now, I'm afraid. Just one of the houses being thicker than the stone that made them. Once all of this blight business is done, there will be a reckoning in the assembly. They're probably half hoping we'll all wind up dead. That way they'll have one of the strongest forces left in Orzammar. Enough to face the dark spawn all on their own, I suppose? That's exactly the kind of half arse thinking that got us into the mess after Endrin passed. It was our good fortune that you decided to return home when you did, Grey Warden. For all that you needed our help, I expect we needed yours more. Hmm. Carry on. Right. Off to camp with both of you, and keep the drunkenness to a minimum. We have a long way <laughs> I'm to go. I'm going to get drunk. It's like well, it's evening thing. to you, Grey Warden, and good fortune on the field of battle. You too. Oh, Zephyrin. I stand here staring out to the east, and I can feel it. 
I suspect that you can too. You mean the Iceman, of course. As if it weren't enough that one of the most noble and terrible creatures ever to be spawned of our world should be twisted into something so unnatural. I cannot imagine what we shall do once we encounter it. Do you have a plan? Uh, kill it, I guess. <laughs> I see. Brilliant. <coughs> if you will excuse me, I need to meditate to gather my strength. If I'm to be of any use to you, come the morning. Good evening, Grey Warden. And good luck. Thank you, Zephyr. Have a good night's sleep. Uh, this Eamon, I've already talked to him. Oh, hi, fellas. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Bowden has joined us as well. Yep, still barking around excitedly. Do you see anything interesting? Oh, apparently you've seen something interesting. Interesting. Swarth come running up with a tangled ball of wooden yarn. And so trailing in the dust behind him. Uh-huh. What did we got? <laughs> tangled ball of yarn. Still slimier from having been in the Mabari's mouth. Well, thank you, Spark. I appreciate it. Something I can help with? Uh, no mind. Apparently, we can't talk to them about a blight. There you are. Oh. Wanted to talk to you. You do. Uh, go ahead. Aye, right, here we go. You and I, we've. You know how sometimes you spend time with people and things. Hmm. Uh, I love you too, Morgan. No. Uh, what is it? Take your time. I was thinking, uh, I do know some people out here on the surface. Mm -hmm. A person, actually. A girl I knew in Orzammar. Before I left, obviously. <clears throat> okay. A girl you knew or a girl you knew? What? Oh, you mean were we running? <laughs> oh, I. After Bronca left for the deep roads, name's Felsi. She was a fiery one. I'm sure she's forgiven me by now. Thought maybe I'd track her down, see how she's been living. Uh huh. Yes. Do you know how to find her? I tried to look her up the last time we were at Lake Kalanhod. She wasn't at work at the inn. At home with her sick mother, they said. I figured it was just the ancestors telling me something. But I keep thinking about her. You know, we can go back, but there isn't really much time now. We, you know, Ogren, we are marching for Denim tomorrow. Well, and a good friend you are, Warden. I'll think about you if we ever... Uh, no, actually, that would be gross. <laughs> uh, what was it you wanted to say? Never mind. Aye, yep. all right then. Helmet gone. Seriously, wrong time to be doing it, Argon. But so, um, no, oh, we've reached our last batch of alcohol. You take the meat, I take the ale. That looks fine indeed. <laughs> Alright, final batch of alcohol, final, final, final march for glory, whatever. I don't want to talk more. <laughs> now let's look for Riordan, he wanted to talk to us. To me and Alistair. Probably some more Great Warren business. Hello? Is this my room? Guest room. I oh, can't unlock that chest. Oh, there's Elsa. There you are. Let's go see what Riordan has to say. Yeah. There yeah, you are. Right, let's, come on. You're both here. Good. Mm. 
Please know I assumed you had already been told. Otherwise, I would have told you this when you freed me in Denerim. I'm sorry. What is it? What are you apologizing for? Tell me. Have you ever wondered why the Grey Wardens are needed to defeat the Dark Well, Spawn? not really, actually. You know, uh, uh, of our skills and abilities. Were that so, then any skilled warrior would suffice. Yeah. The Archdemon may be slain, as any other Darkspawn. But should any other than a Grey Warden do the slaying, it will not be enough. What do you mean? The essence of the beast will pass through the taint to the nearest Darkspawn and will be reborn anew in that body. The dragon is thus all but immortal. But if the Archdemon is slain by a Grey Warden, its essence travels into the Grey Warden. That doesn't instead. sound very healthy. <laughs> oh, wow. Even, uh... <laughs> okay. My uh, immediate response is actually one of the responses given. That doesn't sound very healthy. <laughs> well. A Darkspawn is an empty, soulless vessel, but a Grey Warden is not. The essence of the Archdemon is destroyed, and so is the Grey Warden. Really? Meaning, the Grey Warden who kills the Archdemon dies? Yes. Without the Archdemon, the Blight ends. It is the only way. Are you kidding me? And we're with three. Oh. Wonderful. Ah. Uh, <laughs> Is there, an, is there no other way? Does it have to be a Grey One? As far as we know, the transfer of the Archdemon's essence is automatic. If one of us is not present when the killing blow is made, it is all for nothing. There is no other way. For what it's worth, I'm sorry. Oh. <laughs> Gulp. So, that compromises his plans for ultimate glory uh, why is this such a secret why doesn't everyone know this it's quite important we keep it secret for the same reason the joining is kept secret who would become a grey warden if they knew the end that might await them and yet there must be grey wardens without us there is no hope I, I, I do not really like the idea of sacrificing myself, you know. In Blight's past, when the time came, the eldest of the Grey Wardens would decide which amongst them would take that final blow. If possible, the final blow should be mine to make. I am the eldest and the taint will not spare me much longer. But if I fail, the deed falls to one of you. If it comes to that, I am willing to take the blow. Uh, yeah, what about the the old king business? Maybe I can take a space. Maybe that's not not a bad idea after all. Hmm. You know I never wanted that. Just make sure I'm there when we fight that dragon. And I'll do what needs doing. If we do not stop the blight here and now, it will destroy all of Ferelden before the Grey Wardens elsewhere can assemble. Remember that. But enough. There will be much to do tomorrow and little enough time to rest before it. I will let you return to your rooms. I will see you once the army is ready to march then. I guess this ends soon. One way or another. That it does, my friend. That it does. Indeed. <clears throat> the rock is going to have to think about all this. It's quite important. <laughs> Oh, our room. Morrigan, what are you doing here? Are you trying to slip some poison in my bed sheets or something? Do not be alarmed. It is yes, only that's I. why I'm a, I am alarmed. <laughs> um, yeah, finally decided to betray me, have you? Quite the opposite, in fact. Oh? I have a plan, you see. A way out. The loop in your hole. Uh huh. I know what happens when the Archdemon dies. I know a Grey Warden must be sacrificed, 
And that sacrifice could be you. I have come to tell you that this does not need to be. What do you mean? I offer a way out. A way out for all the Grey Wardens that there need be no sacrifice. A ritual. Performed on the eve of battle, in the dark of night. You do realize that I do not really like those sorts of rituals. I, I, have, I have no interest in, in these things. They're probably even worse than dying. What if you find yourself facing the dreaded Archdemon alone come the battle? Will you still feel the same then? All I ask is that you listen to what I have to offer. Nothing more. <sighs> Alright, speak quickly, but I promise nothing. What I propose is this. Lay with me, here tonight. What? And from our joining, <laughs> I my can be conceived. Excuse me? The child will bear the taint. And when the Archdemon is slain, its essence will seek the child like a beacon. At this early stage, the child can absorb that essence and not perish. The Archdemon is still destroyed with no Grey Warden dying in the process. Do you want to have my child? Think about what I offer you. The chance to avoid death. Or better yet, the chance to slay the Archdemon and live as a hero. No Grey Warden has ever done this. In return, True. I conceive a child. One who will be born with the soul of an old god. After this is done, you allow me to walk away. And you do not follow. Ever. The child will be mine to raise as I wish. Uh... How do you even know that that will work? This is what my mother intended when she sent me with you. She was the one who first gave me this ritual and told me of what I was meant to do. This does not surprise you, does it? Did you not wonder why Flemeth saved your life? Why she aided you? This is why. What is important is that I am offering this to you now. It will work, and it will save your life. The reason that Flemeth wanted this mean that, means that it's probably very dangerous and not so good for the future. Uh. No. I will not do that. I see. There is, of course, another option. I speak, of course, of Alistair. Oh. He is a Grey Warden, just as you are, and would also serve for the ritual. The trick, of course, would be to get him to comply. To me, he would not listen, but to you, I think he just might. He doesn't really trust me. <laughs> uh, so, do you think I would tell Elsa to do this instead? You will advise him to do so, and because he trusts you more than he would ever trust me, he will comply. Consider the alternative. If Riordan fails, do you think Alistair will hesitate? The future king of Ferelden? He will die the hero and you will be overshadowed. Just a Grey Warden who accompanied the what? king. If you would rather, consider Zevran. What do you think he would advise if he knew the life of his beloved was at Wait, risk? What? I think you know. You have good reasons to tell him to save his own life if you will not take part in the ritual yourself. What was that that you said about <laughs> Severin? <laughs> His beloved? What? Wait. Uh, what? <laughs> what do you... Wait, I'm just, you know, not following this conversation anymore. What? Severin? Beloved? <laughs> I do not completely follow anymore. To realize that that is what <laughs> I am genuinely confused and surprised, really. What the hell? Uh, <clears throat> what was the last thing you said? Good reason to to save his own life. Take part in the ritual itself. Consider it carefully. Ah, uh, yes. This is something the rock needs to think about for a long time. 
I think it's time for some sort of, I don't know, uh, an interlude a part uh, where he's going to have a little inner monologue because it's quite important. Um, so I'm going to end the video here, then the monologue, and if you're not interested in that, the video after that will just be the continuum of this. So, uh, right. See you in the next part, or maybe part after that. Whatever flows your boat.